So a new study just out may explain why we get most of our deep sleep in the first half of the night and why we get most of our REM sleep or our dream sleep in the second half of the night. What did the scientists do? Well, they brought in a group of participants to the sleep laboratory and they had them learn a whole list of new facts. And then after they learned all of that information, they put them to bed, they recorded their sleep with electrodes placed on their head. And then the next day they tested them to see how much of that information that they had retained. And here's what was fascinating. First, the researchers discovered that deep non-REM sleep, which comes in the first half of the night, that was all about strengthening the individual memories. So making sure that you were able to imprint and save the what, when, and how components of the information. But REM sleep was associated with a very different memory benefit. After saving the individual pieces of the elements of the information experience, REM sleep came along and started to remix it all. In fact, REM sleep started to associate information together and then abstract the overarching commonalities, the big picture elements. In other words, deep sleep is all about knowledge, which is learning the pieces of the puzzle, whilst REM sleep is about wisdom, which is knowing what it all means when you fit it together. And as a result, we abstract a bigger picture. We wake up with a revised mind-wide web of associations.